what's up guys it's uh, Saturday in the late afternoon since people have been asking about my last video and the great whopper adventure well it's kind of like I said on that last video it sounds easy right I buy the whoppers I give them to a delivery driver he takes them where they need to go Somebody picks up the Whoppers, and everybody's happy. But, of course, if you know anything about here, you will know that things are not always as simple as they appear. So what happened was, as you saw in the video, and if you don't know the video I'm talking about, it's the one right before this one. Go ahead and give it a look. I'll put a link at the end of this video if you want to look at it but I went to Burger King I got the Whoppers they got into the hands of a taxi driver along with a phone number and it was supposed they were supposed to be there between five and six o'clock or six or seven something like that So I was chatting to my friend, the person the Whoppers are going to, <clears throat> when uh, when he came close to the time. We were talking on uh, Messenger, and he started to get nervous. Seven o'clock came around, no Whoppers. Seven thirty came around, no Whoppers. I was trying to be pragmatic. I just figured I've had enough experience to know that. Uh, Cambodian time is different than regular time. I'll be there at 8 means, you know, 8.30, 9 o'clock. Somewhere in that uh, general two-hour period is, <laughs> is what that means, generally. Well, pretty soon, 8 o'clock started rolling around and uh, beginning to suspect something's not right. So I got a hold of my tuk-tuk friend who arranged for the delivery he got a hold of the taxi guy and apparently they they got dropped off about 5 30 earlier than what was expected but there was a problem contacting my friend on his phone according to the taxi guy the phone call wouldn't go through uh, he tried a few times couldn't get it to ring so he left them at what passes for a bus station of sorts in Kampong Tom. Now they don't have a real bus station, it's more or less a just a building that buses stop at when they're passing through so people can stop, get out, <clears throat> and for things like deliveries to people there. It's just a building. I don't know where it is. My TikTok friend don't know where it is. My friend who's getting the Whoppers don't know where it is. But the taxi guy sent a picture of the Whoppers. They were on a table inside of a building. <laughs> and it, I guess technically the building doesn't have a name. So we were trying to work that out for a couple hours. Going, I was going back and forth. And I was doing my best because I'm like, this was the perfect plan. It should have just been so easy. And yet, it was not. Anyway, the next day when I woke up, I saw my Facebook message that uh, my TikTok friend had left me a couple numbers for the taxi guy telling my friend, hey, call this number, find out what happened to your Whoppers. So I told him, and of course, rightfully so, he doesn't want the Whoppers now. They've been, they've been sitting there overnight. Why would you want the Whoppers now? <laughs> I don't know if they were, were uh, refrigerated in any way or just sat on the table at a a bus stop <laughs> somewhere in a small dusty town so things did not go according to plan but we are going to remedy that tomorrow this will be a plan B and this one will be almost guaranteed to work I had I hesitate to say guaranteed because this is Cambodia but more likely than the last time let's put it that way in my next video, you're going to see it all. It's going to be fun and exciting. I'm not going to give anything away, but 
be something different. Something to look forward to. And I want to thank Joe, the Whopper guy. He knows why and I know why. He helped me out with something I really needed help with. Couldn't figure it out. Didn't know what to do. And so I just wanted to say thank you to him. You'll all get to meet him when he comes to see him. We'll have a party. Still trying to get something together for a get together kind of thing. Again, that's one of those things that should just be, well, just invite everybody a certain place, certain time. But everybody's schedules are different and they have different things going on. So, difficult to coordinate, but we will figure something else. But anyway, that's the uh, end, end of part one of the Whopper Saga. Part two, as I said, should go smoothly. <coughs> Excuse me. And hopefully this does not, in, not turn into a trilogy. Because <laughs> if you've ever seen any movie trilogies, you, you, you always know the third one is always the worst. And we don't want that. But anyway, um, the video I make tomorrow, you're, it's not going to be uploaded probably until the day after. But it'll be the next one after this, so give you something to look forward to. Over here taking a walk down by the river. Ooh, that river is really low. Really low. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is not good. That river is low. I can see the bottom of it. I don't think I've ever seen it that low before. That's odd because it rained just a couple days ago. It rained for like a half hour or so. That is a freaky sight. But anyway, um, I'd also thought I'd tell you I am starting a uh, new YouTube channel. It has nothing to do with Cambodia, money, or anything like that. It's something I've been thinking about. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, and just uh, didn't have the didn't have the time. So I figured it out. And here's the thing, everybody that donates this month will have access to all of those videos before they're released on the channel. So if you've already donated or helped out, you will be receiving those via email. Um, the first one should be up in a couple days this isn't going to require me to go out so but it is going to take some planning and coordination should be fun it's just going to be a fun thing and if you want to know what it's all about hit that donate button below and you will be the first ones to see it before anybody else and that includes the whole month. All the month of videos I'll make on that channel, you'll be able to see before the general public. And of course, it's always, always, always appreciated.
see if I can get a good view of the river from up here on the bridge. Show you guys what I mean. Pretty freaky, man. Pretty freaky. You can tell all of that right there. Oh, just if I can get my hand in front of the camera here. There it is. All of that right there, that's where the water usually is. All the way up there. You can tell it's all muddy. All the way up there. Now it's all the way down here. Same thing on the other side. It's not because it's been... Not like in the dry season when it gets all hot and humid and it goes down a little bit. This is even more than that. I'm sure there's a reason. I just don't know what that reason is. I had a, a huge gimbal fail earlier today. I was like, we actually had to go to the Sasamaki. And uh, I was trying to film and I was trying to show something on the ground, but I had my gimbal set at uh, locking both the horizontal horizontal and vertical and I was trying to play with buttons while I was recording trying to get it so I could pan the camera down and I must have accidentally shut it off because all of a sudden it just it turned backwards flipped up in the air and I was like well that's going to be some deleted footage but that's all right I had to play around with it some more I do have to get a, uh, or uh, not get, I have to practice some filming using the tripod as well. Might do that a little later tonight. I do like the way they did the sidewalk though. I know a lot of people have been here before. Uh, for some of you it's been months. Some of you it's been more than a year. And even some of you several years. But I really like how they expanded this side, this side of the uh, river walk, the sidewalk. while still maintaining all the uh, trees and everything. Makes for a nice walking path. We're starting pretty soon, you're gonna see people jogging all the way around the bridges or between the bridges. They'll jog the whole sidewalk around a few times for exercise. So there's, there's always people here. doing that every night. That building finally got done. I don't know what it is, but they've been working on it. Uh, for a long time, they had just, it looked like it had just started when I first got here. So a little bit more than two years. A lot of construction going on around here.
All right. I think that'll do it. I don't really have much more to say. Just wanted to let you guys know about the, uh, the Whopper situation, how that ended horribly. There's nothing like thinking you're, you're getting your heart's desire. Or well, your stomach's desire. And you prepare for it and you think about it. And you can almost taste it and then having it snatched away by something beyond your control. It's a very disappointing feeling. I do not blame him at all for being upset. That's like me ordering a bowl of noodles. And after it arrives, somebody snatches it away and gives me a rice cake. <laughs> it's just not the same, even though I like rice cakes. Still not the same. tree looks almost hollow. Luckily it's not that tall, so if it does fall, nobody should get hurt. But anyway, the whole point of this video is just to show you a little walk around, tell you about the Whopper situation, and tell you to look forward to the next video. I think you're really going to like it. Tell your family, tell your friends. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you have not already, and check out all my links down below. There are links to all my books, there are links to all my t-shirt designs, my Patreon link is down below if you want to, if you want to donate on a monthly basis. I have all different levels of tiers, and uh find something for you and you get stuff so that's always nice and of course it helps support free education in Cambodia and it helps me as well so you get cool stuff people get to learn and I get to eat noodles so everybody wins all right also down below are links to all the channels I like to watch from Cambodia. I'm sure you will too. So be sure to check all those out and give their videos a like and subscribe to them as well. And also all my social media is down below. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you want to hook up with me on any of those platforms, I'd be happy to have you. All right, I want to thank everybody for watching. I do appreciate the support. And I will talk to you guys in the next one.